Well, in this particular trade scenario, I still have two left, including this one. And Tim, maybe you will see me concoct some kind of plan where he does end up on the New York Knicks. But for this scenario, he's going to the Chicago Bulls. Look, if it's all about me, myself, and Kyrie, you want to be the man. There is a gaping wide hole, a vacuum of talent in Chicago where you can go and be the man. How does it work? Well, 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 look who's going back to Miami to reunite with his friends. D-Wade doesn't want to be in Chicago anymore, so the Bulls send him to Miami. Miami sends Goran Dragic and Wayne Ellington to the Cavs so they can replace the point guard. Wayne Ellington adds some more outside shooting for LeBron, and Kyrie Irving gets to go to a Bulls team that is going to be trash this next year. And Kyrie's used to being trashed when he's the man. Sure, he'll score 25, 30 points a game alongside Zach Levine, but the Bulls will be bad, and they'll be in the lottery for a year after year after year. Now, that one kind of works out a little bit. I can see Cleveland agreeing to that because they get a good point guard in return, and they have him under control for a few years, and maybe that can keep LeBron around. Probably not, but that was just a fun scenario to get D-Wade back to Miami and have Kyrie really be the man in Chicago. Good luck with that. Again, use the hashtag the rally. Let me know how you feel about that trade scenario. I've already broken down two. I got one more left. I'll share that with you coming up later on this rally.